We're here this week, with special Shia, Lechvoi, the Yomtev, Rosh Hashanah coming up tomorrow night. I want to thank our hosts once again at here at Bikkur Cholom of Lakewood. It's good to be back. We weren't here for a few weeks. Baruch Hashem was all for good reason, for Simchas. But um, Baruch Hashem, another year, Tavshin Pei Gimel of Bikkur Cholom hosting us here. And Mir Hashem, we hope to do many, many more years together here. And of course, in Yerushalayim, Mashiach's gonna be here very, very soon. And Bikkachalim of Lakewood will become Bikkachalim of Yerushalayim. And together, we'll continue to pump out Torah and Chesed from this building. And as we all know, this year, we will not be blowing Shoifer on the first day of Rosh Hashanah. And we're just going to have one day, the second day of Rosh Hashanah will be the only day of Mitzvah Shoifar. And if one actually looks through the Sforim, look through the Mepharshim, when we discuss the Kiyah Shoifar, you'll notice and you'll see the unbelievable high Madregois and Kavonois that come along with Kia Shoifer. It's unbelievable, it's so high, it's so holy. How the blowing of the Shoifer literally breaks through all the heavens. As we know, famously, the Ari talks about it and he speaks about what the Koyach of Kia Shoifer is able to pull off, what it's able to do, and yet, even with all of that, with all the holy kavanas and all the ho holy madregos that the shoifer can attain, with all of that, chazal were mevatel all of this. They were mevatel all of this, the entire mitzvah saseh doiraisa of shoifer, when it comes, when the first day of Rosh Hashanah falls out on Shabbos, all the kavonais and all the madregais and all the things that a shoifer could do, chazal, were mevatalit. Why? Because shema yavirenu. You might have a person, someone might mistakenly carry a shoifer outside, carry a shoifer reshus harabim. So the chachomim, chazal said, you know what? Despite everything shoifer could do, it's Shabbos, it's Shabbos this year. There's no Tekiah Shoifer. Really, this requires a bit of explanation why and how we're mevatel this mitzvah asay doi raisa just for that reason. So the Siva Shalom explains, the Siva Shalom tells us that there are really two different parts of Tekiah Shoifer. Everybody should know that when we do blow shoifer, there's two different parts. First of all, there's the Indian of Yom Adin, where we know the Satan is attempting to be Mekatre Chas Shalom on Klau Yisrael, and comes along the shoifer, and you know what the shoifer does? The shoifer comes along and sweetens the din. The Satan is pushing in one direction, along comes the shoifer, and it sweetens the din. But then there's also a second part of Shoifer. And the second part of Shoifer is the renewal of Hashem's kingdom. When a king is coronated, then a Shoifer is blown. The Shoifer represents declaring HaKadosh Baruch Hu as the Melech once again. So once again, there's two parts of Shoifer. The first part of Shoifer is to sweeten the din. And the second part of Shoifer is to coronate once again for the new year, to coronate the Melech, Malchi Amlochim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And we're saying with that, Hashem, once again, we are declaring you as our king. We're declaring the kingship of Hashem with the Shoifer. Says in the Siva Shalom something beautiful. He says, on Shabbos, life is a bit different. It works differently on Shabbos. As we say, those of us who daven svar, we say every Friday night, 
In Kigavna, we say, Bechol shul tonei rugzin, umore bedina, kulhu arkin, bechol dina and misabrimina. On Shabbos, there's a different set of rules. On Shabbos, there is no mitzias of dinim, there's no satan, there's no mikatrig. On Shabbos, that entire thing, as the Zoyer tells us, the Zoyer Pashatruma in Gigavna, which we say every week, it tells us that on Shabbos, all the forces of bad chas v'shalom, anything the satan could try to do, is not there on the Shabbos. So on Shabbos, we do not need the shoifer for sweetening the dinim. The first part of shoifer does not apply on Shabbos. On Shabbos, there is no din. On Shabbos, everything is already sweet. There is no need for that part of shoifer. So it comes out like this year, that when Rosh Hashanah comes out on Shabbos, the mitzvah of shoifer is coming for only one reason. We already established there's no din, there's no mikatre, Shabbos, everything is sweet already. It comes for one reason, the other reason. And that reason is just to crown Hashem, as we said, as the king. And the Sivashon says something very, very powerful. He says to accomplish that, to declare Hashem as the king, we can accomplish that on Shabbos with just zichroin teruah. You don't have to blow, to actually blow the shoifer to accomplish that. Because on Shabbos we know, let's see all the lamdonim over here, we know on Shabbos that machshava and dibur are like maisa on Shabbos. As the Pesach says, v'shomru b'nei Yisrael es ha-shabbos, we keep Shabbos, what does the Pesach say after that? La'asois es ha-shabbos. We're coming, la'asois, what are we doing? We're not doing anything. We're, 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 it's the lack of doing things. Yet, the Torah tells us that when we keep Shabbos, the Shabru B'nei Yisrael, the Shabbos, it's considered la'asois, that your machshava and your dibur are like la'asois, are like doing it. And although we're not actually doing anything, the keeping of the Shabbos, the Zohar es Yoim HaShabbos L'Kadosh with just the words, with just speaking, it is enough of a Maisa. So this year, all the things that we normally do for Tekiah Shoifer, we can do the first day of Rosh Hashanah, we can do on Shabbos with just words and thoughts. Very, very powerful lesson. And we're able to do the second part of Shoifer, the crowning of HaKadosh Baruch Hu as our king. We're able to accomplish all of that by just saying the Malchiyos, Zichroinos, and Shoifroys. Very, very interesting. The Nesiva Shalom says also, famous pasuk that we're all going to say on Rosh Hashanah. We say, Tik U Bachoidesh Shoifer. Bakese. Those four words, the Rashi tables of those words are Bashabas. Imagine talking about Tiku Bachoide Shoifa Bakese. The Rashi tables, the first letter of each word, spells out Bashabas. And what it's telling us is the Rashi tables, they allude to the fact, to the hidden fact, that the Koyach of Shoifa is still there on the Shabbos, and although we do not actually blow the shoifer. And the Gemara says, in the Sefer the Shabbos, Daf Yud, Omid Beis, the Gemara says about Shabbos, Matona toiva yeshli bebeis kenozai. The Kodesh Baruch Hu talks about Shabbos, and when we refer to Shabbos, we talk about a hidden koyach of Shabbos. Yeshli bebeis kenozai, the koyach of Shabbos, the gift of Shabbos, the splendor of Shabbos is something that's hidden away. It's hidden. And we, as we just said, that there's a hidden koyach in Shabbos, that on Shabbos now, machshava and dibur are good enough. We don't need to do the actual actions. So it's not like we don't have the tkiyah shoifer. 
We have the koyach of Tkia Shoifer even more so in the Shabbos without blowing the Shoifer. The Iker of Shabbos that we need to remember what's the Iker of Shabbos is Beini Uvei Bnei Yisrael Ois Hili Olam. It's about the connection of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and Kla Yisrael. The Shabbos is about, not about doing, not about blowing the shofar. Shabbos is about the inner dveikus that Hashem said, that Hashem has with every single one of us on the Shabbos. And that's there naturally. That's the hidden gift of Shabbos. That's the gift of Shabbos, the base Kenozai. And that can even be done. That Hashem has that connection with us. And it could possibly be that it's even higher than actually blowing the shofar. It's even higher. It's a gift to us to understand what we could accomplish. So when it comes to the first day of Rosh Hashanah, yes, you may get home a little earlier. Yes, you may not have such a long speech before Tkia Shoifer and Yeshul, but understand that the koyach of Tkia Shoifer and the sweetness that it brings us in the din and the, also the, the, the Shabbos is bringing us the sweetness of the din, the mela, it's bringing that to us automatically, but it's also declaring the kingship, the malchus of a Kaddish Baruch Hu without actually blowing the shaykhur. Shetaka b'zoycha, every one of us, that we should accomplish with the combination of the Shabbos Kodesh and the Holy Yom Tev of Rosh Hashanah, we should be able to accomplish, to grow, to be able to taka have sweet uh, we should, it should talk to be sweet for every one of us, it should be sweet for the entire Kla Yisrael. And everybody here and everybody in Kla Yisrael should be Zoycha to have a Ksiva Bachasima Toiva, a Gutka Ben Shior, a year of Simcha's health, Nachas, and a year that together we should all be able to hear the Shoifer of Mashiach and bring us all back to Yerushalayim and Hera, the Amenu Amen.